Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, playing on Dig, located in Logar, Afghanistan. This is Jax2010N, reporting live from Afghanistan. About to do circles and shit. Whoa! Okay, so. Look around here, this is our starting area. And look over the wall, and oh my god. Gosh, this map looks freaking amazing. Just saying. Fail to jump there. Can't jump on top of there. Let's see if we can get up here. Yes, yes, and yes. So we can get on top of this wall for whatever reason or whatever use it may have. We can get on top of all that. Climb over here. <coughs> so it doesn't seem to be any part that you can't really get around. So, let's start through. Wow, I am really liking this so far. There's a lot of uh, excavation site areas. This is already the center of the map, which takes like three seconds to get to. So here. Or just emptiness. Welcome excavating. Hmm. They're missing heads. Are those bugs climbing on the wall? Dead bugs, yeah. <coughs> so, let's see what else. We have this big light pole here. Which is not possible to blow up. Through the center area, we have a few methods of cover. Through to the other side, and another center area. So I think this might be dual center areas. Uh, to the main part. And we can't jump over there. So that's the edge of the stage right here. We have our corners, but it seems to be accessible from all different areas, so quite an evenly based stage, I guess you could call it. Corner camping, good for uh, Theo, the clumsy mechanic. So we're back to the light pole and center part. So one advantage you can have is running over the top of the whole stage to the start, and that is bloody fast to get to the other side, like really, really fast. Okay, so up here, this seems to be our only real indoor area, with whatever the hell that is on the ceiling. Very interesting. Moving around, this seems to be the only uh, sort of out-based area where you outsource from everyone else. Down through to here. All fairly similar looking on other sides. And a few good spots to sort of take cover in. Corner camp if you really wanted to. There's no way of getting through there so that's alright. Yeah, but pretty big open space and lots of open points. But it's all about taking cover by the looks of it in this map. So this walkthrough has probably been the shortest map ever. Probably as short as uh, freaking Nuketown. But um, definitely a lot of elements that you'd have to be careful of when you're exploring this map. There's a lot of different ways you can get to, so many different paths and a lot of things that you can climb on. The good thing is that like a lot of the stage is climbable so that when you actually want to uh, move around we can eventually uh, sort of uh, drop on top of people and that sort of thing surprise! boom! boom! yeah that's what I'm talking about Jack's 2010 in, out